ever needed an application where the resistance of a resistor needed to vary proportionately in response to a PWM or a varying analog voltage. Yes, this is where an LED LDR optocoupler becomes so useful. Any other regular optocoupler, such as an LED transistor, LED FET, or LED triac type optocoupler, would completely fail to implement the above working. An LED LDR based optocoupler can be very easily built at home by concealing any standard LED and an LDR inside a compact light proof tube. Let's learn how this can be done using the following procedures. To build this LED LDR optocoupler, you can use any standard 20 mA 5 mm type LED. The color of the LED does not matter. The LDR can also be any standard 5 mm type LDR. Next, you just have to insert the LED from one side of the tube and the LDR from the other side of the tube until they are both face-to-face -face at touching distance inside the tube. After this, confirm whether the assembly is working correctly or not. To do this, take an ohm meter with its range selected at above 1 megam. Next, connect the LDR terminals with the probes of the ohm meter. The meter should read in megaohms or near infinite resistance, proving that the LDR is not receiving any external light. Now, connect the LED terminals with a 5 volt or 12 volt DC supply through a 1K 1 quarter watt resistor. Make sure the supply polarity is correctly selected. This should instantly illuminate the LED inside the tube, causing the LDR resistance to drop to around 10K. The ohm meter should now display a resistance of anything between 1K and 50K. Once the above is confirmed, you can seal the terminal ends of the tube with epoxy glue and let it dry until the epoxy is cured and hard. You can further confirm the working of the device by applying a varying voltage to the LED terminals via a 1K resistor or by feeding a varying PWM. Doing this should cause the LDR resistance to change proportionately. Your LED LDR optocouple is now ready and can be integrated with any desired application that requires a resistor value to change proportionately in response to a varying DC voltage or a DC PWM. If you have any related doubts or queries, please feel free to comment below for quick replies. Thanks for watching.